Hello, welcome to uh, Mopo Moso TV, uh, episode five, which is the October episode. Uh, I'm, uh, I've just finished a little bit of um, uh, what do they call it? Radiotherapy. Many thanks to the uh, radiotherapy department at Bart's Hospital. A wonderful team of people. Um, but uh, as you can see, my uh, excuse the ugly teeth and uh, everything but it's all going uh, okay so where were we yes um episode five we've got some great stuff in the show for you um all with a sort of central core of free improvisation and we open with uh, uh, a dear friend of mine who um started off in art college in art school as they used to call them i think um and uh, learnt piano. He played uh, in the backing band, the Sidewinders, that backed little Stevie Wonder on his first tour of, um, on his second tour, sorry, of the UK. And then went on to be uh, a sound editor at Decca, uh, where one of the people he had to deal with was Pavarotti. And in fact, he phoned me once from Pavarotti's house, rather drunkenly, I have to say. Uh, to say he'd just eaten the best meal of his life and Pavarotti had cooked it for him and uh, you can imagine that was a good one <laughs> uh, here is Matthew um, at home playing grand piano with um, a, a sort of, uh, what do you call it a, a, a kitchen foil lots of, um, uh, lots of tin foil um, inside, inside the piano and he's playing with the resonances that uh, come from the uh, come from the piano. So uh, have fun. This is Matthew Hutchinson.
Thank you, Matthew. That was uh, a third of uh, a longer piece called Foil Play. And we'll be playing some more of Matthew in future series, in future episodes. Um, we'll be seeing also uh, in this episode uh, some of the people behind Mopo Moso TV who will be acting as uh, fellow presenters. And I'll hand over now to Charlotte Keefe. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, John. And hello to everybody that's joining us and tuning in to watch the fifth Mopamozo TV instalment. That was a great piece there by Matthew Hutchinson. And we're going to continue now this super instalment with a really powerful, intense uh, performance from a trio. And I think you'll agree with me that this will definitely blow away any autumnal cobwebs you may be having you may not be having it's uh definitely one of those one of those pe uh, pieces videos that's just gonna pff, blow your socks off i think so anyway so uh without further ado we have javia kimono on drums marco Zaretto on bass and antonio lewis Gwellen on guitar enjoy
Wow, that was uh, pretty uh, full on, as they say. Um, and uh, traditional lineup: guitar, bass, and drums, uh, and uh, a lot of energy there. Now we have um, Viv Corringham, and Viv is uh, a great singer. And she sent us this contribution, which is um, in the sea, actually. Well, first of all, she's singing across the sea and recording the resonances of her voice across the harbour. And then uh, she wades out into, well, you'll see it, and then she records under the water and how um, the sea modifies her voice and she modifies her voice to the sea and etc. etc. One of the uh, themes we keep finding running through this is uh, nature and it's good stuff and here's Viv Corringham Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Viv. Viv Corringham there with a beautiful, very calming, meditative um, contribution there. Really beautiful piece. And now we're going to continue with an exciting video from Emilio Gordia. And I'm going to hand it over to him to introduce himself and do his thing. Hi, Mopomoso. Hi, John. This is... Emilio Cordoa in a Sunday in Berlin. I'm gonna record some music for you and uh, I hope this take is the one because I have to wait until Monday if I don't do it right because it's, mid it's midday afternoon and well the light is about coming soon from the window and then we don't have a good picture but yeah as i said enjoy Thank you. 
Emil Cordoa there, quite, uh, quite remarkable what you can do with a vibraphone um, and uh, just, just beautiful, really, really loved it Emil, thank you very much, a lot of fun um, and a lot of uh, playfulness. Uh, now I'm going to hand you over to someone else who's part of the Mopo Moso team and that's Paul Jolly. Hi Paul. John, thank you so much. I think it was my plane arriving uh, as you presented, <laughs> changed over to me. Anyway, just wanted to say it's a great privilege to be introducing for Mopo Moso TV. The piece I'd like to introduce comes from uh, Lars Brundum. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, who's a leading uh, Swedish uh, musician. I think he's a professor at the uh, university there. And he's joined in this duo by saxophonist Pierre Gardin. And it's a piece uh, with a slideshow. So enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was the uh, Swedish duo, Lars Brundum and Per Gardin. Uh, Able introduced by Paul Jolly there. Um, and uh, uh, great, there's some um, uh, very close knit music. I think you can hear that they know each other's uh, playing very well. I see from my notes here that uh, Per came and played a. Um, uh, a Mopo Moso concert at the Vortex, the beloved Vortex, uh, on the 16th of October 2016, so that was four years ago. Uh, and it'll be great when we can all be up and running and uh, we can have him back. Now, the next thing is Toshimaru Nakamura uh, playing uh, a no-input mixing desk, which means that he takes the output from the mixing desk, pushes it into the input and it creates a feedback circuit and he manipulates the sound that the mixing desk is using. And he's working with um, uh, our Mopomoso TV member, Suzueri, Eriko Suzuki, and they're playing at uh, Fatari, which is a wonderful place in uh, Tokyo. If you ever get a chance to go there, do. They're very lovely people and we wish them a lot of love across the across the world so here they are this is uh, Toshimaru Toshimaru Nakamura and Suzueri have a lot of fun
Well, that was fab, as they say, all round fab. Now I'd like to introduce you to uh, Christopher Salzbrunn from Hanover, who's another member of the Mopo Moso team, and ask Christopher to announce the next, uh, the next set, as it were, the next item. Hello, Christopher. Hello, and good afternoon. The Brexit won't tear us apart and won't disturb the sunshine in our hearts. And now we'll have some fresh music from Düsseldorf. Some highly talented and skilled musicians at the Robert Schumann Hochschule gathered together virtually and recorded a series of improvisations called In These Times. In a few seconds you will watch a visual interpretation of part four and I hope you'll see the faces of these young artists in one of our following shows. The other parts can be found in the SoundCloud. Check the link below. And I'm happy to present a Mopomozu quiz for the first time. Which record is referenced in the following clip? Just write your answer as a command. And what surprise? It will be a surprise. A surprising link to an unregistered video. And now some music for dreamers or those who believe in reality. Oh, <laughs> 
Charlotte, can you see me? Just not if you can hear me or just knock. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. And now we have a performance from Archie Young Lee. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, Kiang Lee. Wow. Such a mesmerizing, captivating performance there. And I love um, Helen Pets, the, the camera angle and the lighting and how you can see the bow hairs. Um, it's, yeah, I, I just wanted more of that. Lovely. Over to you, John. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, um, delightful. Um, and uh, the next piece coming up, is from Thelmo uh, Christopham. Now I'm not sure if it's Thelmo or Telmo, so apologies, uh, who's in Brazil and sent us this. Uh, and uh, it's rather a delight. It's, um, uh, you can hear the inside workings of the saxophone, all the little bubbles of breath and bits of, uh, bits of the harmonic series and stuff. Uh, but it's, it's really up close and it's a kind of Counterpoint, not in the strict musical theory uh, ten, uh, sense, but uh, well worth a listen. It's rather lovely. Thelma Christopham, have fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, uh, Thelmo. That's um, extraordinary, lovely stuff. Now, this is something uh, that's uh, a bit of a rarity. Um, this was uh, recorded by Jazz Keller, uh, Nine and Sexy, 69. Uh, and it's a trio led by Olaf Rupp uh, on electric guitar, Rudy Mahal on clarinets, and Carpeton Christensen on drums. Uh, and was recorded at the Jazz Am Kaisersteg um, uh, fairly recently. And uh, it's, uh, it's lovely to see some live music live. Enjoy.
Well, that was uh, delightful, and uh, uh, I have to like it. It has a guitar player in it. <laughs> so now I'm going to hand you over to uh, Paul Jolly again to uh, introduce the next item. Hi, Paul. Hey, John. Thank you. Um, what a great afternoon of music we're having. Uh, I'd like to keep the ball rolling a bit, really, with this next piece that's coming up. It's from a... Uh, Greek-based musician uh, who goes by the name of um, Moody Alien and uh, this is called uh, Kalimba but uh, it's quite fascinating he doesn't reveal much about himself and I think it's worth uh, if you want to learn more about him visiting his website and you'll find the details listed uh, enjoy Thank you. 
Hey, well, that was a fantastic piece. And uh, I'm going to pass you over to Charlotte, who's going to introduce the last piece of this afternoon's programme. Thank you, Paul. And now we have the wonderful Charlotte Hook with a song for Voice, Water and Soap. Thank you, Charlotte, for that wonderful song there. To me, Charlotte really is is one of those artists that brings joy right to the moment, um, right, right to the now. And now we come to the last video of this instalment. And it's a trio again, and a, a featuring Yute Wasserman, Lol Coxill, and the man behind it all, the unstoppable force that is, of course, John Russell. And this trio is the music that is produced is exquisite exquisite improvisation free improvisation there's so much equality and unity um within this within this piece that, that you're going to hear and um enjoy it i'll see you next time folks
Thank you, Charlotte, um, and uh, it's um, wonderful to see that again. Dear Lol, what a what a musician and what a guy. Very nice man. Um, and uh, Ulta Wasserman, what can I say? Uh, a real um, talent, and, and, and I just had such such fun with them. Such fun. Um, and I guess that's the kind of theme that runs through all of these things, is that it's about sharing and it's about fun. And it's about a kind of lack of commodification, you know. We're sharing things as the, as the planet kind of falls apart. We have to learn to share things and we have to um, share also with nature. I mean, we've had themes of a bit of garden on my part. Um, and water, you know, natural, natural things, <coughs> and uh, let's uh, and let's keep in touch. One of the one of the reasons for making Mopomoso TV is that it represents a point of contact uh, and a point of sharing around the world. And um, that might sound a bit pretentious, but um, so be it. It's probably. Uh, um, I was going to say the only hope we have. We let's let's just be hopeful and uh, spread the music, spread the love. And I'd like to say goodbye now to Christopher, Paul Jolly, and uh, Charlotte Keith, who've uh, who've helped with uh, announcements, and thank everybody for sending in their contributions, and um, the rest of the Mopo Moso team, who you will get to learn more about as these ser this series develops. A big wave out to the Vortex, bless you. We still need to try and keep these venues going, you know. And one of the things is, it's not going to be the new normal. We're looking at a new difference. Let's spread the love and the music. And thank you for coming. Thanks, John. Thanks, everybody. See you all soon.